Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to start with Lightroom Classic CC. So obviously I just uh, uh, opened uh, Lightroom and by default Lightroom creates a catalog as soon as you open it. So it by default goes to your pictures folder either on a Mac or on a PC. And as you can see this is what we've got so far. So I'm just going to close that because we don't need that for time being. So the first thing is I need some pictures so I'm going to click the import button right here and now I've got select a source in my case I'm, I've got a folder on my desktop so I'm going to desktop and tutorial and as you can see I've got some photos right here that I want to import so the first thing I want to do is I want to untick all of them and I just want to import this one this one and this one so basically these ones are we're taking it Chelsea Bridge and now I have copy as DNG so basically this will add to the catalog and also it will convert the .nef files into DNG so I want that option and right here on the top we have two local disk F so I'm going to choose other destination so under my destination I'm just going to local disk F and I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to just call it uh, shell C bridge so shell C bridge cool and I, now I select that select folder and as you can see local disk F shell C bridge so now we have all of this right here on the top so if I click this build smart previews basically it will uh, build a smart preview of, of the photos what that does is it will allow me to work on these images even if they're not on the computer so let's say I was export uh, I was importing uh, to my catalog but saving to a external hard drive so basically it to work on in Lightroom you would only need you, you would need to basically need the hard drive connected to Lightroom so you could work on the images if you click build smart previews you don't need that but to save them yes then you would have to connect uh, the external hard drive which is a good thing in this case if you travel a lot this might be a good option one thing I always leave and take this don't import suspected duplicates because sometimes and you, you'll see I've got some examples here they look quite the same and uh, Lightroom will say you know what I only need one of those and I don't want that I can also make a second copy to where I want so basically I can click here and choose folder and I could back up this somewhere else I'm going to cancel that and untick that and I have add to collection as well so what I want to do is I want to leave it as it is for time being because I'm going to show you how to add to collection in a second so file renaming will leave it as it is apply the ring import I don't want anything so I think this is it and I'll click import Obviously, Lightroom, first thing, will import the photos and then it, it will convert to the NG. And there you go, it's done. So, we've got these three photos of Chelsea Bridge. So, right here under the collections, I can create collections. So, I'll click on the plus sign and I, I'm going to create a collection. So, I'll create a collection, Chelsea Bridge. Cool. And I leave everything as it is. Create. And as you can see, we only have one. So how do we bring those all of those photos back to my collection? So all I have to do is Command or Control A. This way I have all of them selected. With my mouse, I just drag into, as you can see, collections. Chelsea Bridge. Job done. Cool. So this is one way to do it. Now let's go back to import and let's find the same source and I'm going to obviously untick those ones or actually untick all of them and now I have some photos of Portugal so I've got this one here in Portugal and I've got these ones here as well so I'm just going to select those like so and I'm just going to copy as DNG and I'm going to other destination 
and I'll call it I'll call it Portugal. So Portugal done. The select folder. And as before, I've got the same thing, but what I want to do now is I want to add to a collection. So as you can see, we've got the quick selection and sales Chelsea Bridges right here. But I want to create a new one. So collection, uh, I'll call it Portugal. Portugal. Inside the collection set, uh, the smart collections in this case. And I'll create. And as before, I'll leave as it is and I'm going just to import. Cool. So all of those are imported. Now it's just a matter of converting to the ENG and we're done. So this moment in time we have what you see here, it's the hard drives that Lightroom is seeing at the moment, and it's my local disk F. So, over here, we have the collection, so I'm just going to minimize my navigator. And I'm going to hide this as well. So as you can see, under smart collections, we have uh, our Portugal ones, as you can see. And we've got the new Chelsea as well. So cool. So. As you can see, straightforward. Let's do it again. Import. Now I'm going to select my source. I'm going to untick this. So these ones here, they're not, we don't have them. We don't. So let's import all of these. They are random photos. So these ones were taken in Oxford. This is by a Batsy Power Station. And this was taken at home. So I'm going to copy as DNG local disk other destination and I'll call it uh, let's say let's create a new folder and um, I'll call it random I would advise you to make sure you, you name them properly random is just for the purpose of tutorial and I'm not going to do nothing I'm not going to even add to collection import and the reason why I didn't add to collection is because I completely forgot about it so this is one thing I wanted to show you. So I had already some photos converted to DNG. So Lightroom tells me straight away, non-raw files were not converted to the DNG. So if you come across that, it's not a problem whatsoever. So you can even bring DNGs to a catalog. So photos, the other ones were converted. Cool. So now we have all of these. And now what we can do is add, add them to collection. So, so let's create a collection. So Oxford and I can see that Oxford I've got three so I'll select the three of them drag them to Oxford there you go now I have this one here which is let's say let's call it London so now what I'm doing is a collection set I'm going to do it again so so create collection smart collection create collection set and I'm going to call it London create done so what this is is basically I've got this photo here of Batsy Power Station so let's say I take a photo of Big Ben uh, St Paul's Cathedral or whatever I can include into London but I want to organize this a bit better so I'm going to just click on plus and create collection but now I want inside the collection set which is London so BPS power Batsy Power Station and it's added to it so now we have these two over here so create collection i'll put the uh, st studio studio create random let's go back and select those two and drag them into the studio but you know what i messed up i don't want to call it studio i want to call it still life so right here if i right click i can actually rename it so, uh, still life. Cool. So now it's all nice and organized. So let's see how powerful Lightroom really is. So I'm here under my library and I've selected this image. I'm going to develop settings and I'm just going to do minimal stuff. Just so you get the idea of um, the possibilities of Lightroom. So just going to leave it as it is. So I just selected the 
white balance. I can come here and try to match it, but it's too warm. So now we have the crop tool. And right here on the crop tool, I have the straighten tool. So let's see if I can bring this nice and straight. There you go. And I'll accept the changes. I'm not happy, so let's go back again to the crop tool and make sure this is locked. So this will lock to your original ratio. If you don't want to, and you can come here and do something like so. So, yeah, I'm happy as it is. Cool, but still looks horrible. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add some clarity. I want to add just a touch of dehaze, not too much. And I want to work with the highlights, shadows and blacks and whites. So I'm just going to grab my black slider and I'm going to start bringing it in. And as you can see, it looks quite neat. I'm going to add a bit of white. Bring down the shadows a touch. And let's see the highlights. Oh, that's cool. Add some more clarity. And as you can see, it looks quite cool. So now we've got this option here, spot removal. And I can see there's some spots here. But Lightroom also has visualized spots. So I click it. And now intense it is the visualized spots. I'm just going like this. And I'll just click, click, and I can brush. And I can brush. Like so, and I can brush. And brush this area as well. You get the idea. And tick. And sometimes you see the overlays always on. You've got auto, so basically you only see when you drag the mouse over. Always, you, you know already. Select it, just the ones you select. And never. So I like to leave it auto. So I'm done in here. Another thing we have is red eye, we don't need that. Right here we have a graduated field, but we'll take it uh, to another image. So for now, it's fine as it is. So another thing I want to do is detail. I just want to sharpen the image. I want mask sharpening and holding the old option, I can actually see how much is sharpening. So sharp areas will be white, black, no sharpening whatsoever. Another very important thing, lens correction. And I think I'm good. I'm good with this one. So all I had to do now would be file, export and export the photo to a location that I wanted. So there's one example. So now let's go to Chelsea Bridge. So let's go for this one here. So I select this one here, double click. You can see it's quite cool. Develop module and like before. Well, it's a sunset, so I'm going for shade, try to give it a nice warm wool, too warm. So probably just something like so. And now drop the highlights, open up the shadows a touch. Lots of blacks, not too many whites and some clarity. So I can see straight away that I've got some spots here. So let's fix that. So visualize spots. And as you can see, we've got some here. And I can just brush away, brush away. Now click done. OK, so I'm I'm good as it is. So let's grab the graduated field. As you can see in here, it's a bit darker than in here because the sun was actually setting that way. So graduated filter, I can just select graduated filter and I'm going to bring down the exposure. It's way too much, but I can tweak it in a second. So I'm just going to drag something like so. And as you can see, I just balanced a bit more the image. So overall looks a bit better. So a bit of dehaze. Yeah, why not? Cool. So we're done in there. So let's go back to detail, sharpening, masking, lens correction. And we are good to go. Save this image. So let's go for another image so you get the idea. So library. So Oxford, still life. Oh, we've got Portugal. So Portugal, here it is. So now what we have here is actually an HDR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select all of these photos. So I'm going to photo, 
photo merge and HDR. And now basically Lightroom will create a single HDR with high dynamic range based on all of those five photos. And there we go. So now we have auto align and auto settings. Auto settings which will apply the settings like shadows, highlights, this and that. So I'm going to untick that and as you can see it changed and I'll just merge. But before I merge I can actually create a stack. So what we'll do is put all of these images in a stack. Therefore I only see a preview and when I click the stack and I'll show you. So I'll create stack merge. So now it's creating the HDR. It takes a bit longer than uh, normal photos because a huge files and then plus you are combining it all lot and as you can see it's just created a stack so when you click on number six it shows all of them so that's very cool uh, this one here it's the merge version that uh, Lightroom created so let's have a bit of fun so develop that's might as well remove chromatic calibration detail I can do it something like so basic I'm going to shade I'm going to open up the shadows quite a lot add some clarity whoa too much bring down the highlights open up the exposure do just a touch something like so add some contrast and I can see that there's some cleaning up to do so just like before spot removal and I'll just come here and click, 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 and click. Let's see, visualize spots. I think it's it's okay as it is. Obviously, if you're working on an image, spend a bit more time than do like me. So now I ha I want to accept the changes, so I'll hit done. Oh, one thing. When you're working with it, let's, I'm just going to select the brush tool now. So... Whenever you select the brush tool, sometimes you don't uh, brush tool, the graduated filter, the radial. If you don't see any any tool here, the menu bar right here on the bottom where my mouse is, press T. So as you can see, this is how it normally is. So when you, you've got it done, show selected mask overlay always. If you hit T, it disappears. So by mistake, you might be typing something and you press T and everything disappears and you go, whoa, what happened? Well, it's just a matter of pressing T. So I'm just going to uh, just brush this might as well because I've got the brush selected and now I just, yeah, I think it looks a bit better. So just remove slightly the highlight in here. I'll hit done and probably just straighten this image as well. So let's go and make this nice and straight. And let's make it a bit more interesting. So something like this. Okay, so done. We can now add a vignette. And there you go. And actually, I'm going to show you the radial, one of my favorite tools. So go to radial right here on the top. And what I can do is I can create like a round shape. So I'm just going to select something like this. I want to focus on this area. And what I can do is actually invert the mask. So now, as you can see, I'm just focusing on the middle of the image. So I'll just go something a bit like so. And now I can drop the exposure a bit more still giving me a nice control still showing here the boat on the foreground i think this is it for now uh, i think this covers basic stuff importing organizing your stuff in lightroom uh, i hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions feel free to ask thanks for watching and i'll see you next time and don't forget to share this video with your friends family and to those you know and even to those you don't know and don't forget thumbs up Hit the bell and you'll be hearing from me soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.